And now for sort of the opposite, in my opinion. Uh, as you know, Nikki Haley, in particular, <laughs> is counting on the Democrats and liberals to infiltrate your Republican primary. You know that. The Le that's what's happening. You have a group of people coming in that are not Republicans, and uh, it's artificially boosting her numbers here, although we're still leading her by a lot. You know, uh, as you know, I watched her speech last night. I thought it was inappropriate. But because it's bad for unity, it's bad for the party, what she said. But you'd almost think she won. She came in third, and she lost to not a particularly great candidate, obviously, as you've seen. She lost to somebody that uh, beat her by about two and a half points, Rhonda Sanctimonious. So, <laughs> so uh, I'll tell you, we have these two people. We really got to get back on to Biden and beating the Democrats and not wasting a lot of time with these two. Uh, they're supported for... They're supported by some people that you don't want to have support. And the reason they're doing it, and I'll, I will tell you, uh, so we had a very interesting thing. We were making the speech last night. It was called the victory speech. Yeah, please sit down. And everybody can see back there. That's a big crowd. It's a nice crowd of people. <laughs> we're driving in the snow. You can't see three front. And, I mean, how you all got here? I said, will people show up? But they always show up, right? Because <laughs> they, they love their country. But we were talking about her show and how corrupt the press is. And last night, it was amazing. NBC and CNN refused to air my victory speech. Think of it. Because they are crooked, they're dishonest, and frankly, they should have their licenses or whatever they have taken away. They put on, they put on Nikki Haley. She came in third, a distant third. Like, I mean, a distant third. And they put on Ron DeSanctimonious, who came in a boring second. Now, he, we don't talk about him too much because over here he's polling at 4%, so we'll save him where he seems to go up. But we haven't found that place yet. He's gone down a lot. Uh, she's not doing particularly well, but she had one phony poll. She walks around with a poll saying she's up in Biden by 17. That poll is about uh, three months old, and it's a fake poll. And from every other poll, she's just about down in every election. We're up every single poll for the last two months against crooked Joe Biden. But people behind Nikki Haley are pro-amnesty, they're pro-China, they're pro-open borders. These are the people that are backing her. They're pro-war. We don't want war. We got out of all the wars. We beat the hell out of ISIS. We're, they're pro-Biden, frankly. And if she wins, Biden wins. And if Biden wins, New Hampshire cannot win. You're going to lose. And uh, bad things happen. You, you had, we had the greatest country in the history, in history, in our history, Three years ago, we had the best borders. We had the best economy. We had no inflation. We rebuilt our military. We gave you the biggest tax cuts in history, the biggest regulation cuts in history. Nobody's done what we've done, and especially, frankly, for this state. If you want a nominee who is endorsed by all the rhinos, globalists, and demented never-Trumpers, and never-Trumpers, they're a dying breed, I will say, like a guy like Rhino Paul Ryan, he was so bad for his liberal Larry Hogan. That's another beauty. Open borders, Rhino Charles Koch. Charles Koch, he spends a lot of his inherited money on elections, but not so much. But he has been giving uh, Nikki a lot. He wants open borders. He's pro-China. He's not pro-U.S. And crooked Joe Biden's biggest donors, then Nikki Haley is your candidate. If you want that, we need strong borders. We need free and fair elections. And if you don't have those two things, and I'd love to add in, we need an honest media, because we don't have an honest media. The Democrats are supporting her because she's easy to beat. You know, the Democrats are funding most of her campaign, and they're doing it because they want to run against — they don't want any more of Trump. How did they do in 2016? And then we did even better in 2020, a lot better, a lot better. Millions and millions of more votes. They don't want us. They want her. They're really, I mean, she's probably their first choice, and Ron DeSanctimonious is their second choice. And I'm their last choice. And, uh, you know, but they're a party of disinformation. They see we're leading. You know, Rasmussen just came out. Did you see that? Rasmussen, highly respected. They just announced that the nomination for the Republican Party is over. They just said it's over, that Trump won. Now, I don't know how they can do that, Dwight.
But I guess they looked last night, and they looked at all of the different states who were beating her by, you know, many, many, many points in South Carolina. She's uh, the governor of South Carolina, and she's losing by 50 points. That's not a good sign. <laughs> and very shortly, we go out to Nevada. We're beating her by about 90 points. So we're beating everybody, and we're beating much of, maybe more importantly, although we have to get there, but more importantly, we're beating Crooked Joe Biden in every poll. We're beating him by 11 points in Michigan. We're beating him in, we're beating him in all over. I mean, we're beating him in Pennsylvania. We're beating him in South Carolina. We're beating every poll that they take. And by the way, we're beating him very big in a place called New Hampshire. Have you ever heard of it? Have you heard of it? If you want to defend, your Honor, and if you want to defeat the radical left Democrats and save America, you must vote for your favorite president of all time, Donald J. Trump. That's me. The only way to stop the Biden lunatics and radical leftists is trying to — they're trying to cancel out your votes. They want to cancel out your votes. That's what they're doing with Haley. They love Haley because they're going to load it up with Democrats. They're not going to win anyway. They're not going to win anyway. They're not even close. But they're going to load it up with Democrats and independents. And that's not what the Republican Party is about. We love Democrats that want to vote for us. And we love independents especially that want to vote for us. But it's not what the party is about. But you have to go in big numbers on January 23rd. That's Tuesday, next week, January 23rd. I, I spent so much time talking about this because we had these tremendous polls, just like we do here in Iowa. And I'd say, Please, it's very important. We have to keep our eye on the ball in November, and we're sending a signal. So even if you don't believe the polls, or even if you want think we're one point down, we're not. We're like 30 points up. But don't believe me. You have to get out, and you have to vote. I joked the other night. I got a little heat for it. I said, listen, uh, darling, you're not feeling well, but I don't care. You have to get up. We have to vote. We have to but but I'm not feeling well. It doesn't make any difference. You have to vote. And I went a step further. I said, even if it means the ultimate, you got to vote. Because we've got to save our country. All the information you need is available at nh.donaldjtrump.com. Everything's available. So we do have to create the margins. We're going to be in great shape in terms of winning, but the margins, and I think that's why we got, I guess, 52 percent. They said it would be almost impossible to get over 40, and we got 52 percent last night, which is great. Largest, biggest margin in history. Biggest margin, by a lot, the biggest margin in history. With your help, one week from now, we're going to win the New Hampshire primary, and then we're going to defeat crooked Joe Biden. He's a crooked guy. He's the worst president in the history of our country. He's the most corrupt president in the history of our country. And frankly, he's the most incompetent president. You're going to end up in World War III with this guy. But we're going to take back our country, and we are going to what? Make America great again. <laughs>